Have you ever had your Google reviews go missing? Or maybe you're familiar with Yelp and you've had Yelp reviews go missing and you understand how frustrating that is as a business owner. Google is continuing to increase their spam filter as the spam in the review section has gotten out of control. So I have a quick tip for you today. This is gonna include some automation to show you uh, on how you can make sure that you capture all of your reviews and store them so no matter if Google removes it later, you always have that review. So so stay tuned. All right, so this Zapier automation is gonna help you store your reviews for later, just in case you ever need them, in case they disappear. I had a client last night reach out again uh, that the reviews were disappearing. And the only reason that they know this so well is they're manually sending out the review requests and they're seeing them come in. And it's a very big push for them at this moment as a small business and put on all that extra work and effort and have them disappear is super frustrating. And a lot of times, if you don't have any proof of this, you are never gonna be able to fight Google or put in any kind of support ticket. Uh, in our Zapier account today, we are going to set up a trigger with your Google My Business listing, and the event is going to be new review. So how this is gonna get set up, you're gonna set up your location here, pick a review. Ideally, you would pick one with a comment on it, and I'll show you why here in a second. Um, and then you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna connect that with Google Sheets. And I'm gonna show you quickly how ours is set up. So I am just taking the reviewer's name, date of the review, the star rating, and if there's a comment, we want a section for that as well. I haven't formatted this or done anything special to this yet, so just wanted to kind of show you the real basic setup of this. What you're gonna to wanna to do is your action step, you're gonna create a spreadsheet row, and when you do this, Google's gonna kind of walk you through setting this up, and you're gonna get this information. So every single time you get a review, you're gonna get the reviewer's name, you're gonna get the date and timestamp, and then you're also gonna get the rating and any comments left from the reviewer. Now, there are other options here. If you guys want to uh, take the review ID, which would not be a terrible idea. This is a super quick zap, honestly, for this one, because it's only two steps. You can do this with a free account. So keep that in mind. Um, I would highly recommend setting this up and just let it run because you never know when that day comes when you're gonna need this content. It's better to have it and not need it versus not have it and need it. Or leave your questions in the comments below. I'm happy to help you guys set this up if you guys wanna do any other sort of workflow with this, but it's a very easy way for you to automatically make sure that you keep all of your reviews stored somewhere else outside of Google My Business.